Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how to revert back to the stock Realme UI from any custom ROM which was installed in Realme X7 Max. So as you can see friends, so I, I have installed the Pixel Experience ROM in the Realme X7 Max right now. So there will be a confusion for some of the users and they wanted to get back to the stock Realme UI from the custom ROMs in Realme X7 Max. So I will just show you how to back up your files, how to back up your entire stock ROM in your mobile phone through TWRP recovery so first of all we just need to turn off your device so let me just turn off your device device and click on the power here and click on power off so once the device got turned off I just need to press the volume buttons and the power button all the three at a time so once we press all the three buttons it will be redirected into the fast boot mode so once after getting into the fast boot mode we just need to connect our mobile phone to the system and i mean i'll just try to do another video because many of the people are asking how to install the twrp recovery so i will just try to do that so first you just need to get into the fast boot mode and then we need to get into the twrp recovery so friends as you can see it is now restarted into the recovery so i will just show you how to take the backup of i mean your stock realme ui or the pixel experience from whatever you need but the main important thing is to back up your stock realme ui so right now it is in the pixel experience room i'll just show you this as an example so in order to back up your entire room you just need to click on backup here and here you can see some of the options like data boot cache TBO, something like that so let me just uh, focus here so you just need to only click on three files one is boot here you just need to definitely click on boot and the second one is dtbo and the third one there will be an option called super so you just need to click on all the three so for the minimum ui recovery for example if you wanted the full backup it is better to choose each and everything except data so if you wanted the full backup just select each and everything and swipe to backup here so let me just tell you one more time so in order to restore or in order to back up your realme ui you just need to select the three options mainly which is boot the second one is dtbo and the third option is super so this is for the minimal thing so if you wanted to take full backup so you can take you can select each and everything like this you can select each and everything except data and click on swipe to backup so here i just wanted to only take boot dtbo and super and i will do just swipe to backup so i have already done this so that is the reason i'm not doing this right now so once you've done the swipe to backup so the file will be i mean the entire voice will be backed up into your file manager but before clearing the internal storage you just need to copy that restoration i mean copy that backup file in your system or any pen drive but make sure that to copy that in both system and pen drive because if there is any issue with your system or pen drive it will be remain in any of the soft in any of the hardware just any of the hardware so let me just uh, do one thing so as i have selected all these three you just need to swipe to backup so i'm not doing anything here because i have I'll, i have already taken the backup so let me just uh, reboot into the system and i will just show you where exactly it got backed up so once you restarted the system uh, it will just in it will be in your file manager so let me just show you so it will be created like zero i mean the folder look looks like zero the folder name it itself will be zero folder i mean there is no name for that there will be nothing so only you can see number zero so let me just uh, restart into my reboot into my system and let me just show you so as you can see it is now restarted into my system yeah so once you swipe to backup there so you will just you just need to go to the file manager here sorry for the message so you just need to go to the file manager and go to the internal storage so as you can see this is my backup so as you can see i have done i have taken this on uh, november 4th so it's uh, way too long so i have just taken this backup on november 4th so it will show you like this so once you backed up each and everything in your realme stock ui 
once you backed up from your TWRP recovery so once you switch on your mobile phone and open the internal storage it will show you in this format so before this it will be like a zero folder and when you click on the zero it will show you this and when you click on this folder you can able to see all these boot animation I mean boot DTBO and super so these are all the things you need to restore the realme UI so as I have taken the backup so I will just again go into the TWRP recovery and I will show you how to restore into the realme ui from the pixel experience rom so i'll just uh, try to switch on my mobile phone again so do not I, I repeat do not clear your internal storage because as you are having that internal i mean as you are having that backup file in your internal storage it will be a problem so i'll just also tell you one more thing so if you connect your mobile phone to your pc using the three uh, twrp recovery it won't show the internal storage as well so in order to change to realme ui you should be on any custom rom and you should install those backup files and then only you just need to do this process so if you are confusing please try to rewatch the video and rewatch i mean please listen to my points again let me just tell you one more time if you really wanted to restore if you are connected your mobile phone to the pc using the twrp recovery it won't show your internal storage in your computer so that is the reason you you just need to be on any custom rom and copy the files from your pc into the mobile phone and then do not clear the internal storage and follow my procedures what i am doing now so let me just click on power off so as you can see the the mobile phone is uh, shutting down so it was already switched off so let me just click on all the three buttons at a time so that it will go into the fast boot mode so once after going to the fast boot mode we just need to open the twrp recovery so as you can see it was already into the fast boot mode so let me just open the twrp recovery so friends as you can see it was redirected into the twrp recovery so do not i repeat do not clear your internal storage so let me just uh, show you this if you just click on install there should be this particular file as you can see i'm just uh, trying to uh, trying to zoom in so you just need to have this particular file so that is the main thing you just need to backup so once you are at this page you just need to wipe each and everything but before wiping that you just need to click on restore and select the backup file which you have copied into the internal storage so as you can see boot dtbo and super so these three will be automatically selected no need to select anything so once you install once you uh, copied the backup file in your internal storage and once you click on restore here it will just show you this again and you just need to click on that and these three will be automatically selected so now you just need to swipe to restore so as you can see here uh, the operation is going on it's saying restoring boot ddb what done boot done so it's taking it will take some time to restore so i'll just pause the video and i will just proceed and i'll just show you what are all the steps you just need to do after the restoration so friends actually the restoration was done so there was an uh, uh, red color message so you will think that it will be an error so no need to worry about this so it's saying fail to mount so no need to worry about that so that's not an error message you successfully restored so as you can see the restore completed in 27 seconds so once after the restoration go to the i mean minimize this and click on yeah once uh, after yeah once after the restoration minimize this and click on back uh, just click on the back option back button here just click on that and after that you just need to wipe click on advanced wipe so just wipe data as you can see just wipe data dalvik cache but do not wipe anything so once after the wipe please click on select to wipe again it will show you fail to mount so no need to worry about that so once after this process minimize this click on reboot and click on system so definitely it will be into the boot loop so do not worry about that this will be into the boot loop mode so no need to worry about that so when your mobile got soft bricked so whenever you see any realme logo no need to worry about that just connect your 
mobile phone to the system so after connecting you just need to enter a single simple command which is fast boot erase user data so if you just use this command it will just wipe your internal storage and once after wiping the internal storage so you will be successfully booted into the realme ui so why i am saying to wipe using the command prompt by using commands is because so if this twrp right now which we are using in realme x1 max is a bit buggy and it's not working properly so there are many testers who tested this so it is i mean the official version twrp is yet to come in the realme x7 max right now we are using the unofficial version so that is the reason i'm asking to connect to the system and using the command commands in the command prompt we just need to clear the internal storage so friends as you can see once after that uh, once after restoration you can see now the realme logo so it will just take some time uh, uh, to switch on so so if it is get so this is called soft brick for example if, if it is stuck on the realme logo so that is the reason that that means it got stuck so just wait for five minutes so if still it's not booting up so then connect this mobile phone to your system and then you just need to erase the internal storage and bam everything will be fine so friends as you can see now it was booted into the realme stock ui so here it is at the main page so i'll just uh, each i will just do each and everything here i'll just uh, configure this and i'll show you what exactly you can see so as you can see it was already connected i mean it is now i'll just uh, connect this to my wi-fi network so successfully we got uh, booted into the uh, realme ui from pixel experience room so let me just click on next next so as you can see i'm so happy that it was again so after many days i'm seeing this uh, realme ui i really loved the color oh yes friends because uh, it's really very colorful so i thought uh, oneplus would be uh, oneplus would be the best uh, i mean the oxygen voice would be the best but most i uh, mostly i like the color os so uh, don't don't think me don't think me otherwise so i'll also i also like uh, yammy ui more than anything because i don't know i used to use my poco f1 so as you can see this is my poco f1 i used to use this before it is a beast friend so so it is having a 845 snapdragon s4c it is a beast so i'll just show i'll just uh, skip all these things because i just really wanted to see the ui because i have i, have, I haven't seen this from many days i really love this uh, color os in my realme x1 max it is a pretty awesome uh, rom in realme x1 max because it is very colorful and in, in fact the most important thing so as it is on this page i just wanted to tell you the fingerprint unlock is the best in the color os i mean in the realme ui so whenever if you install any room so it is not that much accurate or that much fast but here in the realme ui and here in the color os it is pretty pretty fast so i totally like that so it is pretty fast so as you can see friends i am again back to the beast realme ui which is a dope thing i really love this realme ui so as you can see uh, let me just uh, uh, show you the settings as well so right now it is it is on the a20 update so let me just click on this yeah so let me just show you so it is on a 820 software update so as you can see it is on 820 uh, here so it is on 820 so i'm very i i'm very excited so that i i was again back into my realme ui because i love friends so i love realme ui very much more than anything but in i mean according to the custom rom up to now so as we got around uh, five to six to i mean seven roms for this realme x7 max the most the best rom which i have seen is dot os so it is better than uh, the pixel experience rom or a lineage os so it is an unofficial room but i really liked dot os after this realme ui so coming to custom rooms the the, the dot os is the most interesting room because i have seen many of the toggles many of uh, fingerprint animations many wallpapers different customization it's pretty dope friend so if you wanted to try just try to install dot os so uh, i hope you liked my video 
so if you wanted to comment anything if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section below and please share my video because uh, i don't know whether to say this or not so uh, as i mean i'm as i'm getting some views so most of the views are getting from my not getting from my subscribers so that is uh, the main thing so please subscribe to my channel friends so please so i'll just try to continue to make videos on uh, this real max one max so if you wanted to do any videos on poco f1 i'll definitely do that and there is one more beast which is lying at the back that is iq7 so i'm just uh, uh, shooting those videos uh, with iq7 only so i i also wanted to uh, review iq7 as well so yesterday i have done the cpu throttling test in realme x7 max based on pixel experience room so i'll just upload that video it's actually pretty good i think it's better than the stock uh, realme ui so uh, i got the most accurate results uh, more than the stock uh, realme ui it's pretty good and uh, the battery percentage i mean the battery uh, I, I think it went around uh, 39 to 40 degrees uh, celsius when i just uh, uh, installed i mean when i just uh, used that cpu throttling test so as you can see friends i'm now right now enjoying the, the color os in my realme x1 max so if at all if there is any doubt please do comment in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching my video have a great day take care